Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to do a painting on gessoed masonite board in the style of Charles Arnoldi, um, referring to, it's more of a, a gestural like line painting that we looked at. And I am gonna start with um, charcoal pencil. I don't know that he used that, but I, I, I'm going to for contrast. So here I go. Then I'm going to use my big brush that I've talked about that I really like. And I'm going to put a wash over that with a Indian yellow. There's the Indian yellow. And this is a fluid acrylic. And what I like about the charcoal is that it bleeds a little bit when I go over it with water. And I like that because I will hopefully not be as uptight. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try and work with uh, mostly neutrals, maybe till the end. Okay, now I'm doing a big no-no here and I'm using my, this Japanese Sumi brush. Normally you do not wanna use this with acrylic paint, but I hardly ever use this brush and I want a fine line. So um, if you're gonna do something like that, just be sure you, you know, clean your brush out really well at the end take care of it. And I want to use this brush because you hold it differently. You hold it up straight up and I can have a lighter touch. Or if I apply more pressure, I'll get a thicker line. Okay. Now I'm going to do some with some sepia. And I think I'm going to use a toothbrush here to get some splatter marks for contrast. Now, ideally, I would have time to put this out in the sun and let it dry. And then those splatter marks would not um, fuzz out as much. but I don't have time for that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with an indigo here. Now you can also come back and draw with your charcoal pencil on the surface while it's wet, which is really nice. It, it bleeds a little bit, it seems crisper. Okay, um, Okay. now I'm gonna draw directly with a white acrylic gouache. And I forgot to bring my deli paper out, so I'm just gonna use um, some printer paper. Okay, so I'm going to draw directly with that, and then I'm going to blot it. And 
what I like about the blotting is it, it spreads it a little bit. And then if I want, I can turn that blot and I can, I call it paint printing. I can print it down here. Okay. Um, I can do some scraffito and some of those lines if I want. So obviously this is diverging a little bit for Mr. Arnoldi, but so goes. Okay, now I'm going to do some light phthalo blue in there. And I'm going to use this $6 fabulous paint brush from the hardware store to make a bigger and thicker line. So now I can come back in with my charcoal pencil if I want. And that could be the painting as is, but what I often do is I make these and, um, you know, because I like faces, I might use this as a background for a portrait or it could just be that's what it is. Um, is there anything more you want to see me add to this? I'm thinking I have not used this angled brush like a sharper line and I like the indigo so maybe I'm going to do more of that. And what I like is as I cross the other colors they blend. So that leaves it a little bit to chance, which I think is different than his paintings that are so, uh, what's the word, mapped out. Okay, I'll do a little more of this quinacridone uh, color here, and then I'll probably be done. Okay, I think that's it for now. So I think these are, just in closing, I think these, this process, way more spontaneous than making it super precise. I could see doing, you know, a whole series of these. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, it's very oceany. has a lot of, um, oceany breezy movement so and that didn't take that long way more spontaneous i could see doing a series of those um okay <laughs>